Good morning everyone and I want to welcome each one of you to this Friday virtual service. And before we begin, let's look to God in prayer. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for giving all of us the gift of life in the midst of the pandemic. And we thank you for your favor upon us. And we pray, O oh Lord, that even as we prepare ourselves to worship you and to hear your word, we ask you, Holy Spirit of God, that you would minister to us. And may this service be a blessing to us, because we ask this in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. I want to take this time to welcome all the staff who are joined, newly joined, to our hospital. And we appreciate uh, their dedication and we pray that their service in our hospital will be a blessing to all the patients. We also would like to take this time to wish our staff who are celebrating their birthday and uh, we pray that the Lord would bless you and make this new year in your life a blessing. Just have a, a verse from Psalm 31, 37 verses 4 and 5 it says, Delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way unto the Lord. Trust also in him. He shall bring it to pass. May your life be a blessing to your family and friends and to all of us here. We are very happy to have a wonderful praise singers with us and I request the team to come forward uh, lead us into a, a time of praise and thanksgiving as they prepare all of us to hear God's word. happy to introduce uh, today's speaker, uh, Colonel Bunyan. Uh, he was our former associate director and he served many years with us and also a good friend to our hospital. And we want to welcome on behalf of Bangalore Baptist Hospital and request uh, Colonel Bunyan to share God's word. Good morning. It's nice to 
be speaking to Bangalore Baptist Hospital. Again, I thank the Almighty God for giving me this opportunity to share with you all. I'm grateful to Bangalore Baptist Hospital and uh, the leadership and the past and the PCD for the invitation that they have given to talk to you all today. The family of uh, Baptist Hospital has set a wonderful team, share and do good. And this month's meditation verse, which is Luke 12, 33, sharing with the needy, is uh, very relevant in the present situation. I'll read from that verse, sell what you have and give alms, provide yourself money bags which do not grow old, a treasure in heaven that does not fail, where no thief approaches and no moth destroys. I don't think in the history of mankind has there been a virus that has been so virulent to so destructive on human life as well as on the incomes of many people causing loss of life and health and breakdown of the economy. Suddenly there is so much of need all around us making this theme very relevant. We as God's children must rise up to the occasion and be the salt and the light of the earth. I am an example of being in receipt of help when I needed it most. When I was a young boy, my father expired and my mother took care of us four children and it was only with the love of uh, dear friends and loving relatives that we were able to manage. I remember a story that, uh, uh, remember an inc incident when I was in school and it was the sports meet, the athletic meet and after the uh, event was over my friend came to me and told me that he had received his pocket money and said why don't we have go and have some ice cream. I was about nine years old. And you know two boys out on the street we went um, to this uh, cafe and normally when you go for ice cream you normally buy it off a cart but we went to this cafe and you can understand that uh, a cafe is the price are not suitable to two young boys. So uh, when he showed, uh, he, he asked the waiter, we went straight and it was a place for seating and we didn't sit down. We went to him and asked, uh, can we have ice cream? And he asked us, uh, told us the price and then we realized we didn't have the money. So uh, we were walking out to the hotel when the waiter called us back and said, come back. And um, the... Uh, we sat down there and then he gave us the ice cream and uh, we thanked him and then he signal, told us and signaled to another man who was sitting in the corner and said he asked, he's paying your bill. And uh, that uh, incident has been etched in my mind. It's, uh, I can't forget it very easily. It's, um, it's, a, it's a reminder that we all need to look around and see where we can meet needs or little wants that people have. In uh, the Luke chapter that we see, there are lots of verses devoted towards uh, not being covetous, not holding on, trusting God, knowing that our God is a loving Savior. And when we hold on, uh, when we don't uh, share and with the needy, we're really telling God that we don't trust Him uh, and we don't uh, know that our needs will be met. So he is there uh, telling us to open our hands and to share and to uh, be a blessing 
to the community. Wealth takes wings by itself. Wealth takes wings by itself and is easily scattered. We can soon lose all of it and we can't carry it with us. So, especially at this time, this is a good reminder that uh, this, what we got will just stay on the earth. So, uh, in actually in Revelations, um, Jesus tells us in that it's a, it's a very interesting Revelations, if you see Revelations chapter 3, Revelations chapter 3 verses uh, 17 to 19, Revelations chapter 3. 17 to 19 and I'll read it because you say I am rich have become wealthy and have need of nothing and do not know that you are wretched miserable poor blind and naked I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire that you may be rich and white garments that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed. And anoint your eyes with eye salve, that you may see. As many as I love, I rebuke and just chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. So we, we see here, that God wants us to be rich towards Him. We should be rich towards God in our entire life. God wants all of us. He wants us to leave our fears, our insecurities, our time and talents, give everything towards God, all our resources. And why does He tell us this? He tells us this because in the first place, He is the one who is the source of everything. We are just managers or stewards. And all this has been left in the trust of our hands. We must trust him for our provision. And after all, he is a, he is a good father. That's why it's good like to listen to Ecclesiastes, where it says in 11.1, 1, Cast your bread upon the waters. Cast your bread upon the waters, for you will find it after many days. Colossians 3 1 says, Set your mind on the things above and not on the things of this earth. And we should never say that we don't have enough. You know, Norman Vincent Peale, Norman Vincent Peale, the author, said, Empty pockets never held anyone back. Only empty heads and empty hearts can do that. So an empty pocket cannot hold you back. It is only if you're not able to think with your mind and your heart when you really can't achieve anything. And all of us know some good hints which we need to keep remembering it when we are in crisis situation. But I also sometimes forget to open my hand or may not notice somebody in need. We must give someone, we must meet the needs of people as we see them. And when we don't give, some of the money gets spent, isn't it? And somehow when we give, our needs are met. We may think we may not have enough and our needs are met. God is no one's debtor, somebody says. God is no one's debtor. The other thing we must remember is that donors and recipients are at the same level. And we must not look down on them. We must connect with the recipient and give more than money, love and attention and support them. Holding on to materials is wrong and if we don't hold on and we share, it is transformative. There's a big advantage. It begins and we share. We change in our character and it transforms the way we think. We are living in a world where there is great need and we must learn to share. The World Bank says in its assessment of two, 2021 that one-fifth of our nation's population is below the poverty level. Roughly 320 million people 
that is the 320 million people, that's the entire population of US is below the poverty line. So there's so much of need, the invisible poor. Let us look around, let us reach out with love to the world that is needy around us. May God bless us and may God bless his holy word as he works in your life and mine to change us to be better people. I want to thank uh, Colonel Banian for bringing God's word to us. At the same time, we also would like to thank the praise team and the technical team and others who are working behind this to make this virtual service a blessing to every one of us. And so I pray that this will be a blessing to you all. Before we close this service, let's look to God in prayer. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we want to thank you. Thank you that you've given us a, an opportunity to worship you. We thank you for giving us an opportunity to hear your word. And we pray, O Lord, that you'll continually minister to us so that our lives would be a blessing to many people. Lord, we want to pray for our country. We want to pray for our state. And especially we want to pray for the city of Bangalore as we go through this, this huge challenge to face this pandemic. God, we pray that your protection would be upon every one of us that we would if we were able to see your good hand of leading us as we face. Once again, Lord, we commit each one of us into your loving hands. And we ask this in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of the Father, and the sweet abiding presence of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you and have a good week ahead.